Um, so this is the website actually for um, the Arts Month um, site, and the events calendar is there on the pink button. We also have a new button this year, which is vacation packages, and Arts Month is aimed primarily to get tourists to come to the area. Tomorrow night, as part of this event here at Legacy Hall, you'll be able to go to Newtown Art Gallery, which is up across from Opus 9, if you've never been there. And that's a, an atelier of about 12 women artists and, and also to Art Cafe. And boy, see how good I am at this. When I was about this high, Andrew Lloyd Webber came out with Jesus Christ Superstar, and I was too young to go to it then. It opens later on this week by the Williamsburg Players, and um, it'll run for about seven or eight days here. Rhythms on the Riverwalk will have, um, starting this weekend, Friday nights, three uh, nights of jazz music, and followed... The, then by two nights of country music every Friday night through Arts Month. How could you not love paintings made by elephants? <laughs> so, and these are actually paintings by elephants that support um, the, the um, try, trying to help them in the wild and, and protect them in the wild. And that event is being done by um, Fred Miller. Second Sunday, my good friend Judy Vermillion, who is such a supporter in this area of all things art, she has a, on, on Prince George Street about, oh, I think 40 artists now that come on Sundays, the second Sunday, hence the name. Brand new <coughs> event this year, I got buttonholed by Steve Montgomery after an EDA meeting in James City County, and he said, I want art, and I want to be a part of Arts Month at the Williamsburg Landing. And I'm kind of just saying, I'm just going to go on about this story because I love this story. Um, he, so we ended up, I kind of ignored him, and he just wouldn't go away. And eventually now we have two wonderful events this month at the Williamsburg Landing. One is a toast to the arts which is collections by the people who um, live at the landing and have lived all over the world. It's totally free. You'll park at the winery and come um, and have your lunch there if you want to, but you don't have to have lunch. Take the shuttle over to the landing and, um, and see these co rare collections that people who live at Williamsburg Landing have done. If you love Jimmy Buffett, and I do, um, you can see Jimmy Buffett at Lake Matoka on September the 15th and see we're only halfway through Arts Month and look at all those slides I missed. So you'll have to go to the website to find out more. We have, I know one I missed was the Contemporary Glass Show and that... It's the 25th anniversary of the um, Peninsula Glass Guild. They had a beautiful show at the Freight Shed this last weekend, and they have another one coming up on the 15th before the Parrot Heads. Here in Newtown, Chalk Art Festival is a brand new event this year, so you get to draw in a four by six space right around this building, and um, Holly Winslow will lead that. She's very, it, it, she's done chalk art festivals all over the world and she lives here and she's never done one here, but this year she is. Um, Lance Pedigo from Williamsburg Fife and Drum. You have to know Lance, I'm sure all of you do. And last year he started this early music festival at CW. This is the second year and it's quite amazing because as you walk around the historic area, they will just break out in song with historic instruments. Um, and then there's places within CW also that you can buy a ticket. Another thing at the landing, um, art appraisal fair. You know from your granny left you something that you just want to know what it's worth. So take those things later in the month to Williamsburg <laughs> Landing and it will be like Antiques Roadshow, and they're going to make a television show out of it, which will show on WHRO later in the month. 
plein air festival. There's one going on right now at the winery for eight days. This is the second one that goes, um, that will happen in the historic area. We're so blessed here to have the art museums of Colonial Williamsburg and um, American Folk Art Portraits show will open at the end of the month and run through next year with CW and it's quite a beautiful thing. The brand new event this year in Yorktown, uh, the Art Scroll will have, I think, 50 artists. Then in the freight shed, there will be demonstrations from the folks at um, Jamestown Yorktown Foundation. And um, there's food at, uh, available also at, at um, package prices from the restaurants in Yorktown. Everybody's heard about the gallery crawl. They will limit the tickets this year to 500, and um, I, I, I think it's all—it's really starting to get a lot of sales. So you will want to go there. And Martha Jones, um, who's sitting back there, her work will be in the Williamsburg Community Center. Lee Matinee will have two separate venues that night at, during the, the uh, crawl, also. Music Under the Stars is bringing the Beatles in um, for the, the show this year. And of course, Occasion for the Arts this is the 44th year of Occasion for the Arts. They will have 180 um, tents this year. And of course, they have live music during Occasion. It's two days long, but it starts with Music Under the Stars on Friday night. And then the Thursday night before that is the gallery crawl. That went fast. <laughs> Thank you.